Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us Paul Foken, and we're going to be talking about maneuvering your 401k to optimize your retirement. Paul, welcome to the program. Hey, it's a pleasure, Mike. Nice talking hey. to you again. Yeah, you too. I, I'm excited to talk about this because I know that a lot of people kind of are thinking, well, how do I maneuver anything? It's a 401k and I get a statement at the end of the year and there we go. So um, let's kind of dive right into uh, what you focus on working with your clients and um, individuals that have a 401k. Why should they seek help with someone like yourself rather than just letting their administrator of their company, you know, just apply the plan and hope for the best? Sure, Mike, I'd be happy to. You know, when I think about it, I was just reflecting on that a little bit, and it's like it kind of goes back, especially today, when um, I look back and it's like when I was mowing lawn, you know, I was 20, 30 years old, 40 years old, no problem. You know, I'd do my own lawn and that, and then it'd be fine. And then all of a sudden, you know, I got a little bit older, closer to 50, and all of a sudden start breaking down my – You know, I broke my foot. I had surgery where I had to have two surgeries, put in uh, like five screws and then take five screws out. And then just recently I had my knee replaced. Now I'm looking at another knee replacement. I was like, I can't do that anymore. So I just hire out and have it done. (laughs) Yeah. And so what I think of, especially today with 401ks is, you know, I think people are looking at that. They're maybe suffering a little bit with, you know, looking at their balance and it's like, where, you know, what did, what can I do? Because, you know, before it was, you didn't really worry about it too much. There wasn't as, I would say the market wasn't as volatile. It wasn't as twitchy. So when you just had your 401k, you just kind of let it ride, you know, thinking, Hey, it's just, it's going to go up or down. Eventually I'm yeah. putting in and it's going to be okay. But now when you just see the ups and downs and swings and people are like, you know, what can I do? Is there really a, you know, a way I can get help or yeah. maybe get advice. And well, I would even like, think hey, that today there is. People might, they might even think, what's the use? I'm just on the outside looking in, and I get a statement, and that's that. So what can I do? So, I mean, I think that they feel kind of that helpless um, aspect as well, right? Yeah, exactly. And so what we kind of came up with is a is the idea of a service called 401K Maneuver, and it's where you can actually get personalized professional account management or advice for your own 401k account because you know today again it's a focus on the individual a lot of people out there have a 401k or a 403b or a 457 or even a thrift savings plan and they're you know they're not sure where to turn and it's like hey you know a lot of people don't know that they can get help and when you're talking you know 80 percent of the people that don't make changes to their 401k and it's kind of why is that you know and I think some of the reasons are just you know talking to somebody or trying to talk to a financial advisor or somebody else they're just apprehensive or fearful to admit they you know may not have the knowledge or something and it's like hey it's okay we you know that's why we're here we want to help those people that do not have you know maybe not have that expertise well also um is it even possible to get help from someone like yourself when you have a plan with XYZ company? Because I know for me, I would, I would think, you know, before I met you, I would think, well, my company has this and Paul can't help me do anything. He's external. Yeah. And it's interesting you brought that up, Mike, because right now we've, um, I think since we've had it going for about a couple, two or three years now, we got over at least an individual that's in over 200 companies that are using this service called 401k Maneuver. So, and it's, it seems to be growing about, you know, every year, every quarter where we're adding some more companies that at least an individual or even a whole company is saying, hey, let's get, let's get our employees that advice. And, yeah. you know, another idea might be one employee tries it and they see the benefits of it and then maybe they tell another employee and, you know, why not share in that 
in that well, so to speak, yeah. if you can, you know, improve that retirement. I mean, that's our goal and my goal, my passion, you know, has always been trying to help people or educate people. And it's like, we want to have, you know, people that have that opportunity to have the most retirement or that biggest retirement nest egg they can. Well, agreed. And I think that a lot of people might think, well, what's the point? What's the use? What difference does it make? So talk a little bit about the benefits because, you know, you think about your 401k and you think long, long, long term because it's locked up. It's not like you can go down to the bank and pull out some money easily and put it back in. So 401k is like, that's my long term retirement. What kind of difference really does this make? Sure. I'd be happy to tell you that. And even just a little bit going to the history, you know, again, kind of going back, it was kind of more just buy and hold where you just put something in, you just let it go. And then they, you know, there started to be some automatic rebalancing, but it was kind of between, you know, uh, equities and bonds and whatever that percentage is. And, and so it was okay for a while, but now you're kind of finding out, well, it depends on the interest rates and things like that. The bonds might be as bad as when the market is volatile. So sometimes rebalancing doesn't always make sense either. Plus, if equities are going strong, then why not be in the equities? Yeah. You know. And so the idea behind it is, is that if you can get help, you know, and you have somebody that's kind of working in your best interest, because as a fiduciary, that's what we have to do is work in your best interest based on, you know, your goals, your age, your desired retirement, your, you know, situation or family situation, whatever that might be. And what you find out is the people that are getting the help are seeing, you know, the research shows you're getting like 3% more net of that fee that it costs to get that help. So it's like, why not, you know, why not try that? Yeah. Try it for a month or 90 days or, you yeah. know, a year and see, see if it might make a difference. Because while there might be a fee that's layered into the 401k, it's not out of your pocket. It comes out of the out of your um, 401k, but you can then show people after six months, a year, two years, whatever the time frame. Well, hey, look, here's here's a fee that came out, but look at your increase that more than made up for the fee plus some. And so I think that makes yeah. people feel comfortable. Number one, that it's not a cost, but number two, that there actually is a benefit rather than just letting it ride. Yeah, correct, though, but I'll have to clarify on one point, Mike, and that's if it's an individual that just signs up for the 401k, it's just kind of a digital platform that we sign up, but you have to have a, a credit or debit card to take the fee out if it's just the individual. Okay. Or if you have an account that's already existing with PD Ameritrade, then we can take a fee out of that. But okay. unless the whole... Um, you know, business or company agrees to have in the 401k, then we can't, you know, you can't, we can't take it out of the account, at least not yet anyway. Got it. Yeah. That, and that's a really good clarification. We want to make sure people are clear on, on how that works. But the bottom line is you strive to provide such good results that it overcompensates for whatever the fee is. Exactly. And that's another incentive, you know, for an employee or you get two or three employees, then it's like, hey, we, we like this, but, you know, maybe we'd like to see it taken out of our account and not out of our debit or credit card, yeah. you know, each month. Why don't let, let, let's get everybody on board? And we could talk about that, you know, in another another session. But. Sure, yeah. So let's talk about something. Um, when you think about allocations and redistributing and how aggressive you need to be, should be, um, you know, talk a little bit about how that should work, because I know that probably you're going to talk about age and how soon until you retire and how much long and how much runway. So talk a little bit about being aggressive and balancing out your 401k investment portfolio. Sure. Be happy to, Mike. I'm, you know, there's a couple different, I guess, scenarios or situations to think about. The first might be, you know, kind of my philosophy and our philosophy is with 401k maneuvers, like if you're still putting into your 401k, then you might as well just be a little more aggressive, mm -hmm. you know, because when the market's going down, you're still putting in opportunity to, you know, to buy more. So then as it's going on the upside, right, another chance to increase that balance maybe. And if even you can put more into your 401k, you know, you might see where you can kind of get back maybe through that volatility. Does that make sense? Yeah, because, you know, 
we're not day traders buying this stock and hoping to sell it in a day or two or four or six. You, you're in it for the long haul. So you, you see a dip in the market and you just sit tight. And that means that if you are continually putting money in and, you know, this, correct me if I'm wrong here, but, you know, if you're in this certain sector and you see that sector going down, but your advisor is going, hey, just hang tight because we feel it's going to go up. Well, you're putting money, putting money in at a lower price per you know, you know, share or whatever the case is. Now, when it starts coming back to life, you're now getting that benefit, and you've already bought low, and now it's you know, the value is rising. Yep, yep, and you know that's kind of the idea behind it. And yeah. you know, the other thing, case in point, is you know a lot of times people that are in 401 going K's will get defaulted into this kind of target day funds. They've been around for a while, but. What happens is, you know, you're, as you age, it's supposed to maybe alleviate some of that risk and, you know, being aggressive, which makes sense. But there was just um, kind of an article out that was in 401k specialist magazine that pointed out the last quarter or the first quarter of 2022, it seemed like no matter what you were in target day funds, whether it was you were younger or older, you lost about 5%. So... You know, it seems like something there might need to be tweaked a little bit if, you know, if the theory is supposed to hold true. But that's one thing I like about getting your independent, you know, personal professional advice, because then, we're, you know, we can look at each individual account, each individual investment menu that that is available to them and say, hey, this is, you know, let's get out of this right now. This doesn't seem like it's working. Let's let's go into this for a while for 90 days. And then after another 90 days, we can look at it again. If things are status quo and maybe we don't need to make any changes, then we won't. But if it looks like, hey, this here's this fund in here that's really looking good. Let's, you know, get a little more asset allocation or diversification in that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I would think that um, a lot of times, and this is just a broad blanket statement, but a lot of these 401k plans out there that an employee would be given, they're kind of, you know, basic and plain Jane and vanilla and you get what you get and you're confused. So, you know, okay, I'm just sit. But when you start working with someone, you now have the incentive to perform well for them so they maintain your service. When you then sit down with someone and you look at their allocations, what is typically one or two main things you see that you that you watch for so that you can zero in to give them the low hanging fruit benefit right off the bat? Well, it just kind of depends. I mean, if it's maybe a default fund, it might be something to kind of take a look at and say, you know, here you might want to think about maybe diversifying a little bit more. Maybe don't have necessarily all of it, maybe in in a certain type of fund or whatever that might be. And again, though, first we want to get to know the client or the you know the person that has that four hundred one k type plan, and, and and it depends. Like, you know, we might say we recommend being aggressive, but they're conservative. We're not going to be aggressive you know you can yeah. you can recommend but ultimately again it's the individual's 401k plan and as a fiduciary we're we you know we're going to do what's in their best interest yes well and let's talk about that um you know i think a lot of people hear fiduciary and they're like what what is a fiduciary so talk a little bit about what it is and how that benefits someone when they're talking with you yeah, and just kind of like I mentioned, it's like we have to act in their best interest. So it's not so much that, you know, we're going to make commissions or whatever on something where we're going to make trades or we're, um, you know, married to a certain type of mutual fund or certain type of company. You know, we're not. So as a fiduciary, you, you know, we have to be out there and pick the best funds or try to pick the best situation and strategies that are going to work best for, you know, for the client or for the person that has that 401k. And, you know, you see, I think today you just see too many people getting lumped in, you know, and they're just all lumped into a certain strategy or a certain situation. And it's like, people are different, you know, this is between you and me, you know, somebody might be more or even aggressive. There's a different term between aggressive, how aggressive, you know, are you or willing to be, you know, what is that risk? And, you know, it just depends. It doesn't matter if you're 30 or 65 near in retirement, maybe somebody has to be still a little more aggressive to achieve their goals or something like that. You know, just 
that's what we, you know, really want to look at. And that's what a fiduciary has to look at. And, and a lot of times you need to get that whole picture, you know, that whole financial picture to make those best decisions for that client, especially when it's a retirement. <laughs> yes. And, and that fiduciary is a legal responsibility where you must provide the best advice for people and you can't hold back. And so, you know, when you're talking to a, a financial uh, professional, you want to make sure that that is a classification that they have to make sure you're going to get really good advice. Exactly. Yep. I'm sure there's, on the other hand, I'm sure there's an alternative, you know, the horror stories in the financial services world where it's like, oh, my word, this person gave me advice that just really was horrible. So, you know, you want to just make sure everyone's on the up and up and, and, and uh, someone that has that fiduciary, um, you know, designation as well as responsibility is huge. So, well, Paul, let's, let's do this here. Um, someone's listening to this going, well, you know, that 401k, let's kind of collecting digital dust, as they say. I look at my statement once a year and don't even know what it means. Maybe you should give it a look and see what you can do for us. Um, which, which some, some closing thoughts or some ways that you could help someone understand how this uh, 401k maneuver could help them more? And then what's the best way they can reach out and connect with you? Sure. Um, with the 401k maneuver, the other thing to think about, too, is you might have, like, some other existing 401ks from a previous employer. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there are a couple options. You can leave it there or you can roll it over into something else, may roll it over into another plan, but another one was 401k maneuver. And sometimes if, you, if you're able to stay in it and there's certain profit sharing, you know, and it looks like those returns are pretty good and you still, you don't want to keep some of it there, then, you know, we are still able to manage that 401k as well. And some people don't think about that too. So, you know, again, you're just kind of set it and forget it. But if it's still there, it's like, hey, maybe I should look at this service and see if I can get, you know, get that 401k a little boost too. Yeah, bring some, bring some life back into everything and get that momentum happen. And that's what, again, kind of goes back that, to that fiduciary role. So if somebody's, you know, has a question about that, we're going to look at that. What is the best situation? You know, the best situation for them might be to roll it over or leave it where it's at. You know, it just depends. Yes. Awesome. Well, what's the best way someone can reach out and connect with you and maybe get some resources to uh, help uh, educate them on what a 401k maneuver looks like and how it could benefit them? Yeah, there's a couple things, Mike. Um, if you go to my website, which is www.folkandfinancial.com, and you scroll down, you'll see uh, 401k maneuver. If you look at my services on 401k maneuver, you can click on that. There's a couple things. Um, one thing you can do is download a guide, and so that'll give you a little bit more information as well. And then the other thing, if you want to talk to me about it, is like, hey, you know, I didn't know that – that we, you know, there's another alternative somewhere else we can turn, at least have somebody take a look at my 401k, um, be happy to do a consultation with you. So you can just go on there, click on that and sign up for a quick 15, half hour, whatever it might be consultation and be happy to see a 401k maneuver might be a, a good solution for it. Excellent. Well, Paul, thank you so much for coming on today. It was real enlightening to hear about some of these uh, neat uh, techniques that you can work with. So thank you so much, and I appreciate your time. Oh, it's my pleasure, Mike. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.